translation program, because programming is an international language. People all over the world know how to program, but not everyone all, all over the world knows how to speak Estonian, for example. So that an Estonian could market a translation program locally without having to go international, and it would also be internationally done. Just a random thought I had about translation and how English is sort of becoming a language of the marketplace worldwide, even though it's a crappy language in terms of difficulty in learning. There's no logic. It's just a... Well, math is the language of the universe. The universe speaks from math. Everything you want to know comes from math. The patterns and flowers and circles and all the you know, rear end of the bubble, bumblebee. And it's all geom geometry math. It's all ones and zeros, probably. Things can be described by science, math being a branch of science. But it never really, you know, science is lousy at describing the why of things. Like, why do things seem to work out mathematically? And yet, not always. Like, for example, the circle. A description of the circle, the closest we can come to in our dominant math system is pi, which is a repeating number, which doesn't, we've never been able to calculate the end of that. So is it because a perfect circle is a human concept, which doesn't, conform to reality, or is it because the math we're using is imperfect and describes things imperfectly? I think it's the former. That it's a concept. It's like a, it's like a we want it to exist, but it doesn't really exist. I think I, I tend towards the former myself, because you can conceive of the infinite, or a perfect circle, but when you look at an orange, it's far from being a perfect circle. When you look at an apple, far from being a perfect circle. Even the sun, it has random eruptions and over duration, which is a dimension, the fourth dimension, time. Over the term of duration, nothing is perfect. Everything is, because there are so many different forces interacting at the same time, and an instant, if you take an instant and analyze everything that's operating on that instant, there are so many different forces that we currently do not have the power to calculate all those different forces that are acting on the instant. But over time, we can mark changes, and that's where the, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle comes in, and how, like, you know, in quantum physics, the... You observe something, the, change it. Exactly, exactly. But that, that's, that's not really so much an artifact of consciousness as, as an artifact of like at quantum levels, particles are so small, if you bounce a photon at it, it's going to change it. So how do you observe something that you can't bounce a photon at without changing it? It's not so much that consciousness is awesome. It's that the way we use consciousness to observe things changes things. Because our observation is a firing photon. Exactly. Because, we're, because we're, um, our consciousness is reflective. And that does not mean that you fire off photons from your eyeballs. No, that's true. They bounce off of other things. It's like it's coming through your mind and out of you. No, no it's, that's, that's almost entirely opposite of hey, hello, from what we've he's come to learn Jim so far. Jim Morrison playing in the background. Oh, he, he's been compared to Jim Morrison more than one occasion. I definitely oh, yeah. think we fire photons out of every aspect of our... But not, yeah. not we photons. Do? We not do? exactly photons. But we, not, in, uh, not in a way that is really perceivable or in the overwash of other things that affect the environment. Like, for example, the sun or light bulb. I mean, yeah, sure, we give off this great photon just because of, we're made out of atoms, and they do that. But compared to, like, a light bulb, our photon emission is not going to be <laughs> noticeable. No, uh, I just think that there's going to be some sort, some sort of, uh, no, some sort of wave or something that cannot be yet measured. And if they ever can measure it, they're going to try and control it, and then they're going to control people's brains and, you know, brain waves because they're going to be able to program new thoughts into people's brains. And that would really suck. That's here's, not something we want to see. That's not here's something which has occurred to me, which, I, which current scientific knowledge has not been able to prove or disprove to me, personally, to my own satisfaction, 
is that the more we, what we call discovering, is that really because it's already there and we're discovering it, or because the way we conceive things shapes reality? Which kind of comes back to that old Wait. observation routine we were just discussing. In the Are you saying that the things we discover, we might not really be discovering, we might be creating them as we go along? Exactly. Okay. Because, like, for example, let's, let, let's go back in history 2,000 years. They had a different perceptual filter so that when they encountered something they didn't completely understand, they tried to explain it in terms of what they did understand, which was that gods lived on a big, tall mountain somewhere. You know what I mean? So their, their understanding of the natural phenomenon was different. They thought some guy in a big chariot pulled the sun across the sky and went to another world and the sun died. And, you know, if you take an amalgam of old, old, old beliefs. Well, there was a gigantic soccer player behind the mountain and kicked the sun out. Exactly. There's a big, nice, long lob and it makes it into gold every evening because you know how? Because mm. it comes back every night mm. for the kickoff. Yeah. How long do you think it is right now? 12. Oh, yeah. 13, 12, 13, 13, 13, 13. Somewhere between 13 and 23 minutes. Is there a limit? 11 minutes, 11 minutes, I don't know, but for you two, but... Yeah, but sure we, can do that. Can, we can do a... Can we do... Can we put it in as a two-part? Yeah. I wish I could do one more. Do what? Oh, yeah. You could do that in the cross-mac account, but no, people don't watch that.